This is the future. People trolled me that I will make a guide on how to steal path in 5 minutes. Well, they are wrong. Instead of making such a weak video, I will show you how to Warframe in just 2 minutes or less. So first, log into Warframe, wait for the very long loading time and then, input your username and password. After that, go grab the daily rewards, and seeing your orbiter, go log out and play another game. That's how you Warframe right now in minutes. It will only take a couple of seconds if you got yourself a fancy rig. I'm sorry lads, I had to do it. I know it's way too late for April Fools, but I had to do it. Well, if you don't know, I like to interact with my community once in a while, whether trolling them back, or doing some meme videos, or even granting their requests for free. But honestly, this is what veteran players feel about the game right now. They love Warframe and its community, but they don't have anything to do in the game. So basically, they just log in for the daily rewards and exit the game at once. It's kind of sad, and I hate to admit it, but this is reality and most of the people I know exactly know how real this video is. I know that Call of Tempestari is just a few hours before release but like it or not, most veteran players will just breeze the content and exit the game again. To be honest, I'm still enjoying creating Warframe videos for you lads, sharing my knowledge, and some awesome combos that you can use to have fun in the game. But honestly speaking, there's nothing that will keep me playing Warframe for now. This has been the main issue before, and I know that you are really pissed off of hearing the same rant over and over again. But unless Digital Extremes will provide some sustainable content to keep veterans playing, then you will hear the same rant over and over again. If you hear people saying that Warframe right now is more towards new players, then it's true. Most probably, those who got the means to breeze the new content, which is Call of Tempestari will probably finish and gather all the new stuff in one day. In fact, after getting Chevigath, testing the new Void Storm, and seeing the new quests, then it's back to the same login to Warframe, claim the daily rewards, and then exit. You can't even say that veteran Warframe players need sunlight, and they should try to go out for a while because they are playing too much of the game. I mean, the game isn't that hard, and I think we can all agree that we can't call veterans hardcore Warframe players since there is nothing hardcore about the game. There's this thing called meta in the game, and once you have finally gathered all that meta stuff, then the game becomes a walk in the park. Don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying that I am not interested in the future of Warframe because I still believe that this game has something big to offer. The new war isn't finished, the new open world Duvieri paradox. And then, I'm really curious about what the developer has stored for us now that we are closed to the sentient territory. Maybe, just maybe, we will finally get to the Tau system or the home of the sentient a new atmosphere and experience. But this is the problem, I am only interested and have no plans of staying for a couple of hours since the nothing else to do than test stuff and maybe found out some awesome combo, or farming methods that will make your life easier. I still enjoy creating Warframe content for you guys but, I'm not enjoying playing Warframe as a gamer at the moment. I'm just being brutally honest with my feelings here and please, don't take this as discouragement that you end up not playing the game. If you still enjoy Warframe, then continue playing it. There are still tons of playable content that the game has to offer, and it gets absolutely amazing with some friends because you can goof around and play with stuff in the game. But in the meantime, there's nothing that can keep me playing Warframe that is why I just play other games like Apex Legends. The Call of Tempest RE update will probably be short and it would only take a couple of days to get stuff if you are a veteran. After that update, we get the Corpus Leech system which is totally a hell of a grind if Digital Extremes decided to continue the trend of their Leech system. I'm interested in the Corpus Leech weapon variants, but to be honest, how you mod these weapons will not be of any difference. We will most likely see new meta Corpus Leech weapons and some mastery rank fodders. But, how we mod weapons will stay the same, and worst, Digital Extremes could end up adding more new weapons in the game. Though this video is kind of depressing but like I've said, don't let this video influence your decision in whether or not you want to play Warframe. I mostly have all the stuff I need in the game, 
and I feel that there's nothing else to do right now. But I'm pretty sure that some of you are grinding for stuff in the game, and are having fun discovering new stuff that you have farmed for a couple of days. Before we end this video, I would like to tell you that yes, I will be covering the Call of Tempest RE update and all the upcoming updates in the future. However, don't expect that I will be showing some quest guides on this channel. It's better that you play the quests by yourself and avoid spoilers. I'm just here to show you how to mod and have fun with Shevagath, and how to make farming stuff in the game easy. Also, you might want to check out my next Warframe videos because I have very important things that I have to discuss and share suggestions on how to make the game better. And of course, as a promise, I have created another channel for those who want to see me suffer in playing other games like Apex Legends. The name of the channel is The Noob Leader, and if you feel subscribing, then I have included the link on the pinned comment. Before you click the link, I would like to share your thoughts about this question. How are you playing Warframe right now? Let's go to the comment section and discuss what are you doing while playing Warframe. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off. Downed one. are the Apex Champions.